Mike Fuchs getting drafted mm -hmm. right to the pros, tough losing streak, and now out today. Uh, yeah, well, getting drafted was uh, an amazing day. That's something that I've literally been dreaming about for a long, long time. So um, getting to experience that was amazing. And then uh, coming out here, the coach gave me a couple of days to kind of get acclimated and figure out what the routine was out here and kind of work my way back into playing shape before putting me in the lineup. Um, and that was really productive. But getting into the lineup, I wanted to step in and contribute to some wins, but I had to wait a little while for a win. And uh, shoot, I mean, losing is never fun. But it was good to get one today, and we're playing some better baseball, so I think uh, I think some wins are in the future. You made that nice catch reaching to the stands today. Uh, defense seems like it's always been a big thing for you. Mm -hmm. All defense at, at Stanford. Just how does what, what does your defensive game kind of mean to your overall game? Oh, it's super important to my game. Um, it's something that I take a lot of pride in because I know that even if I'm not hitting, uh, I can contribute on the defense end. I can save runs even if I'm not producing them, and so I just, I love first base, I love being able to move my feet around the bag and kind of work a little bit more of the artistry um, into the plays. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed my first. Can you talk about what it's like having all these Stanford guys here between Brody, your teammate, Vile also, and uh, Ratliff? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, Quinn is in my class, Vile's a year older. Uh, so Quinn and I have been together the last three years. We've been in a BP group, we've been working together, um, and obviously he's a friend of mine. And then it's been really cool to um, get to learn from Rat here. Uh, someone who's kind of been there, done that. Um, I may, I'm picking his brain all the time. I'm always asking him questions because he's uh, he's a guy who had success uh, in pro ball, and he can he can really relate to where I've been um, coming out of college, kind of the same situation. So it's been uh, it's been an awesome experience for me. Is the level of play similar here in, here in New York? How many guys lose the back ten? Uh, there are some similarities and some differences. Uh, in the pack, there will be a lot more pitchers who throw slower but are kind of artists on the mound. Uh, honestly, a lot more guys like Medina today, guys who are real crafty lefties. Um, and out here, there are a lot more guys that throw hard. So the velocity is a little firmer, um, but and there are some not quite as many of the uh, crafty lefty pitchability types, but. In all, similar game, still baseball. So, you notice uh, an improved confidence from you and your teammates as the games have been going along so far. Yeah, definitely. We're getting a little more comfortable playing with each other, and uh, there really is that continuity aspect that can't be overlooked. Because especially as a first baseman, I need to learn how the ball comes out of the various infielders' hands so that I can read whether it's going to bounce in the dirt in front of me or whether I get in the air. Just the, the subtleties like that. So getting some more games under our belt together will be really productive for us. Do you think the additions of you and that and Quinn in the lineup also solidified in some ways and maybe completed in a way? Maybe, we're, maybe something was missing before? Well, I hope we're a positive contribution to the lineup. Um, since I wasn't here before, I don't know, but the two of us are just hoping to show up and produce. I'm looking and watching it today it reminded me kind of like the, uh, the Mets um, 86 uh, first baseman Keith Hernandez out there with his uh, big Thank you. glove. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Growing up in California, mm -hmm. who, who were you a fan of at that time? Uh, growing up, I was a big fan of JT Snow, and I actually got to talk to JT this year because JT was working for the Pac-12 Network uh, in the broadcast booth. So he got to, he watched a lot of our games, calling the games, and uh, a mutual friend connected us, and I got to talk to him this year for about an hour and uh, pick his brain on all the little things and just get to uh, hear from him about kind of where he's been, things he's learned, advice. Um, and he was on that, that Giants team in the early 2000s that, at the time, I was mainly watching because of Barry Bonds, like all little kids in the Bay Area were. But uh, I came to really appreciate JT's game as well. Yeah, good defenseman, good glove, good mm -hmm. the contact hitter. Mm -hmm. yeah. is, as an athlete, is there anything that you could do to stay mentally sharp because a day like today is super long and then you have to come back tomorrow? Is there anything as an athlete you do to stay sharp? Well, I genuinely like being here, so there's nowhere else I'd really rather be. So it doesn't uh, it doesn't take a whole lot to get me ready to go. Because there's aside from eating and sleeping, there's not a whole lot else I want to be doing during the day. Long losing oh my streak. God, that was right. Yeah. Do we uh, attribute anything to the uh, superhero uniform? Can we add anything to the mojo? Hopefully, we can uh, wear it tomorrow again. <laughs> that means something, you know.
Um, I think I think um, the first game was uh, you know the way we started last night. It was it was different. You know what I mean? We just talking about the errors again. Um, you know, cost four runs early in the game. But you know that I think I think we the, the good the good thing about it the guys that they battle back. You know, and then we um, you know we, we we get that game. I think it it was great for them. I mean, I think it was, um, it was they, they showed more patience on the home play. They they, they did better job. Um, you know, put stuff stuff together. Um, and then uh, you know, Ingram, Cobb, and Stevan did a tremendous job uh, to finish the first game. It was three two. It was close. I th I th they were putting the bat on the ball. I, I think I think we just this, that's the way we. Uh, I mean, we showed some uh, some uh, pretty good life today um, with the guys. I mean, I know they're kind of a little tired, but I think I think they bought them back. And I, I just tell them, hey, that's a great great day for us today. Um, you know, that's the way we should play. And then. Uh, I mean, I, I think to me, uh, this, that's what I would like to see from the guys. Uh, and Medina, another another tremendous uh, game. It's too bad we don't, you know, we didn't score enough run for him. But uh, he's, 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 it is what it is. I mean, Medina is a guy who uh, who always competed in, 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 you know, to mistake, and, and you see what happened. But I think they did a tremendous job. I mean, it's too bad he deserved. I mean, he got the loss again. But that guy is it's unbelievable. Talk about uh, Winnaker and Brody, both of them, kind of what they mean. You know, they're both right in the middle of the order. Mm -hmm. uh, Winnaker, a couple of hits today. Yeah, I think, I, th I mean, he hit the ball pretty good. Uh, um, I, I think the ball he hit to uh, center field, I think we got a pretty good chance, but you know, cycle on the stadium, man, it sucks. Uh, but, but I think those two guys are going to bring a lot for the liner. Um, um, and, and that's what we're looking for. I think the liner's going to be different with two, those two guys, and, and, and his touch is going to win him, come back. and. Snipe when he comes back, I think it's going to be a, a different lineup. Hopefully, uh, those guys get get, get uh, health, uh, healthy and help them us, uh, you know, a long, long, long way. They are both hurt, Snipes and Snipes. Uh They have a little little um, a soreness in the throwing uh, arm. That's why they don't they don't have play them. they playing right now. But you know, it's it's happening this time of the season. You know, with all the games and the college and coming here throwing every day. So I, I expect that for those guys, but you know, like, like so the soon we get everybody ready, I think it's going to be a different lineup and it's going to be different games. How important is it having those reinforcements for like Winnegar and Brody at a time when the team was struggling, especially early in the year? Um, you know, this 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 is what we're looking for. I mean, we're looking for for guys who um, you know to get ready uh, and help them out in the lineup. Uh, like I said, if you see that our lineup is different now with those two guys on. And and hopefully your car is Tasha. When when he coming back, he's gonna be he's gonna be a, a, a great uh, adapt to the lineup too. And and I think it's make a huge difference. I mean, you know, this, having those two guys in, in the middle of the lineup, along with uh, the game, the first game Medina has today. I think it was the Medina that we want to see it more often. Have you noticed um, the guys getting improved confidence as the game's been progressing? Um, well, today they, they show that. I think that they show that. I, I, that's one thing that, that I, uh, we we're looking for as a as a, as a coach uh, is you know have that confidence that we can do it and and believe that they can they can play the game and they can put the uh, um, you know uh, you know ball in play, especially when you have man on man in scoring position with two out. And today it was I think it's, it's a great. I mean, it's a great sign for 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 us. Also, it seemed like defensive efficiency was a lot better. This was, I believe, the first errorless game, maybe in a week, or who knows how long. It's feel weird, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so it kind of feels that way. What kind of lift does that do for also for the pitching staff, especially when you get a start from Medina like that, where he's also able to save the bullpen? Well, I think I think like I say, I mean, I mean, when you when you play behind Medina, uh, you get more into the game. You know, get more uh, more written into the game, and, and and that's that's great. I mean, the guy, uh, the second game was clear completely. The first game was kind of real tough, but. But you know, it, it that's the way we've been playing. I mean, everything's going the wrong way for 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 us by then. But but now, now I think you know, playing playing the, the way we play in second games, uh, you know, no errors, and we make all the plays. And Korea did a great job in shortstop. Uh, you know, uh, um, get those scrum balls and and set the feet in third third first, make make good plays, and and I think this, this is what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. Having having uh, games like that, we, we down error and play play the way it's supposed to. And you know, I think I think the confidence is going to be more uh, more um, um, positive for for for, uh, for for us. And those guys showing today. 
there anything that you could do to get the guys ready for tomorrow's game co as a coach to get them ready mentally or because you know they're I mean, probably exhausted after today that's that's, that's part of uh, the process that we went through here you know and try to give this guy uh try to be every day uh, uh tough mentally to play the game because it's the, this this is what you prepare those guys for and like i said after the game i went there and did a tremendous job uh, uh you know we just better uh, better team today and hopefully it will continue that to uh, uh, for for now on I think it's just gonna be good for them to uh, to realize that they can do it can you talk about your bullpen at, in the first game I think uh, Ingram Cobb and Estevez yeah. uh, they combined for like seven innings well, they, they, so. they I mean they did what what we expect to I mean those guys did tremendous tremendous job coming to the bullpen uh, and cop cop is doing tremendous for for us lately so Esteban did did uh, um, he, um, you know, he um, he come out of the bullpen. Strong. I think it's different when those guys get ahead in the count. Is they're a different type of play, that type of pitching. And then you know, for the second game, we don't have not too many, not too many uh, uh, guys in the bullpen. But but uh, I mean, at least the first one we got uh, we got those three guys doing the job and to win the game. So that's a big big for us.